It's the Law Show, a comprehensive look at everything you need to know about the law. The actual will itself, where do you put it and how do you let people know where it is? I'm sure this has come up where there's a previous version. Well, by the way, there's a newer version. Like, how do you, you have a file on it, I'm mm-hmm. sure. So do you just say, this is my lawyer, go and mm-hmm. see them to get the latest version? How do you do deal with that? Well, we do have a policy that we store without charge original wills, Mm -hmm. and that used to be very common. Um, It somewhat goes in and out of favor. It it is an expense to law firms, um, but we don't pass it on to our clients because for our view, the client potentially losing the will, the will being uh, absconded with, if it says something that individuals don't Don't like, like, um, the will being destroyed accidentally... I had one client one time who threw their wills out. His wife had rolled them up and put them at the back of the freezer, and he thought they were phyllo pastry. She came in and she said to me, have you ever seen phyllo pastry so short? He doesn't know anything. Why is your will in the freezer? That's the first question. (laughs) People put their will in the freezer because it won't burn down when their house does. Oh. Right? There so you this go. Is, I just learned something. Right. That's, well, this is the belief. Right. So we do store wills. Uh, we don't charge for the clients to leave them with us. But when we give out our package at the end of, of the process, I include two of my cards and I include two of one of the associates in my department's cards, uh, one of the solicitors, not Leah because she's in litigation. But we want to make sure that they're able to give cards for the firm to their named beneficiaries, uh, to their children, to their executor, to whomever they feel it's appropriate who will know immediately upon their passing and who will be able to get in touch with us right away. 